All right, let's grab our blue, tone down just a little bit with the burnt sienna, add our white, now depending on how blue you want it. Remember, we want to match the sky pretty much. We already laid in that base. Now I have it a little bit darker. I'm going to have it coming across. So show some shadowing around where the banks are at. A little bit coming where it comes down here to the waterfall. Or just not really a waterfall. I guess it is a waterfall. But it's only like on a typical creek. Only be like, you know, a couple of maybe a foot or now I'm just putting my taking my strokes and coming across. This makes the water look like it's moving. Cut right into your rocks there. I took a little bit of lighter paint, taking my strokes down. We'll add a little bit more lighter color to that. I want to get the base water, then we'll go back and detail it a little bit more. I don't like to get too hung up on details until I really have to. Right there it should be a little bit lighter where it's going to hit the water and create a lot more foam. Just moving the paint. See how I'm doing? Just, just moving it around until I get something that I really looks like it moves in there. Looks a little more natural. When you're painting water, when you try to paint it so much, it doesn't come out right. When you go in there and just kind of move it around, paint around it looks a lot better. Just trying to, to just move it around quickly. Using my white and my blues. 